So we're here at ETG's open house in Ireland today. Danny, this component here is being made on this Nakamura AS200L, isn't it? Uh, firstly, what is it? Um, it's, a, it's an engine part. It's a part of a radial cylinder engine. It's, it's actually the cylinder barrel from a, a model aircraft engine. And uh, it's being produced as part of the Limerick Institute of Technology's mechanical engineering program. So this is their machine. They've purchased this machine to actually to, to, to manufacture these components. Yeah. What's, what's the critical areas on this part? Um, the critical dimension would be the bore, diameter, and surface finish. Um, that's about the only critical thing in it. I was quite intrigued about the, the, the grooving on the outside as well. Do you, when you're actually doing that, do you not get any deflection with the tools because they're quite deep? Um, yeah, it is quite a deep groove. I, I'm, I'm actually pecking that groove to, that kind of helps with chip evacuation, uh, stops the tool from deflecting too much, uh, cuts quite cleanly, just small pecks. What's the uh, cycle time on this? It's running at about uh, under six minutes, under six minutes at the moment. Complete in six minutes? Yeah. All right, the, the Nakamura machine you're making on, the AS200, a very popular machine from ETG. Some of the things that stand out for me, I'll tell you, and then it'd be interesting to get your opinion on them. First one is it's good to have a 15-station turret, isn't it, for the extra tools. Do you find that helpful? Uh, yeah, the 15-station turret has other advantages as well. It's a physically bigger turret. Um, it can help you get a bit more reach with your tools. Um, uh, yeah, and it, it does help to have 15 stations as opposed to the 12. And, and are they all powered stations on this? Yeah, that's right. They're all powered stations. So you don't have half indexing, but you do have 15 full stations. Uh, and also with this, the Y-axis, the dimension of the Y-axis as well, for a small machine, they're quite big. It's, it's over 80 mil, I believe, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, yeah. It does have quite an impressive Y-axis travel. Uh, it allows you to hit all around that square, uh, which is useful, yeah. And the long bed version, that gives you obviously much more working length. And, it, and yeah. again, you find that advantageous? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, because when you look at a part like this, I wouldn't have thought they'd have necessarily needed it, but I suppose they're building in flexibility into their purchase. Yeah, um, the, the, the long bed does give you a bit more reach. It gives you a bit more of a working envelope. Um, the, the standard long bed comes with a subspindle as well. This machine has a, a programmable tailstock. So you, you can turn quite long parts on this quite easily. Uh, the amount of Nakamuras that you're putting into the field at the moment, why, why do you think it is? Your, your applications here, you must get involved in all of the projects. Uh, what's, yeah. what's your thoughts behind the success? I think they, they're, they're gaining momentum. I think they're getting a bit of a name for themselves as a good, rigid platform. They're a very, very solidly built machine, so build quality is second to none. Um, I think the, the interface is tried and tested. I think their interface is improving all the time. Um, and people just seem to like them. People keep them for a long time. They're a real workhorse. Uh, the AS200 is a really small footprint. Uh, it's a very rigid chassis. So it's, um, yeah, people just, people get one, they tend to like it, they get another one. Um, uh, it, and they it, tell their friends. They do, yeah, it's always good to know. Uh, finally, this work holding, that is, I know I'm going to go into a bit more detail with Heimbuch in a minute on this, but yeah. just, just in, in your opinion, what, why was this chosen? Um, well, the physical size of the workpiece is uh, 70 mil at its maximum, so I needed to cut from a 75 mil billet, and the through bore on this machine is 65. So, um, just as a way to change from a bar-fed machine to a billet machine quickly and easily, um, what we've got is a, a three-jaw uh, module mounted to the face of a collet chuck. And, uh, Should we just open the door? Is the door yeah, coming? Yeah. So from here forward, it's a three-jaw chuck, and uh, that bolts on to the collet chuck with uh, three bolts and a key. Um, overall, it takes less than a minute to convert from billet to bar or back again. What about sort of running concentricity and stuff? Is there any? Um, the, the jaw module fits into the collet taper on a, what's like a, a zero point system. So it's on bearings. So repeatability is excellent. Yeah, it's very, very good. Oh, wow. wow, great overall solution. So this, is a, this is a good example as well of the engineering technology group, not just supplying a machine, but putting together a turnkey project for a, yeah. for a customer. Where's that application going to end up? In uh, the Institute of Technology in Limerick. Yeah, good stuff. Thank you very much for that, Danny. Uh, so there you have it, Nakamura AS200, one of Nakamura's and ETG's most popular machines, and here's one of the reasons why.